Sharkies. I was so hoping to get to see you guys in person this week. Uh, it looks like the weather's not going to cooperate for that one. So we're going to keep trying and hopefully I'll get to see you guys again soon in person. Uh, today, or this week's lesson was bring a friend night. And um, well, that's not going to happen. I'm bringing all of you, my friends, to my kitchen. So I get everybody's Awana bucks. Just kidding, don't worry. All right, so I wanted to go over with you guys some of Jesus's attributes. Now this is where I'd have all of you guys raise your hands and tell me what you think an attribute is. An attribute is a characteristic of somebody. It um, gives them, it's how they behave, how they act, how they treat other people. So the Bible tells us a lot about Jesus's attributes. So I put this little, little uh, sign here together for us to go over some scriptures, which is also kind of a bummer for me because this is where I would get to hear your awesome reading and I get to have you guys look up all these verses and read them to the whole class. So just to keep things moving, I will give you guys the attribute and the Bible reference and then I'll kind of explain it to you guys and what each one means. So we have up here, Jesus is my, and for the letter F, we have firm. And that is Isaiah 26, 4. In that verse, it says that he is our rock, our firm foundation. That means that we can feel secure in him, that he is going to be sturdy and reliable. R is for Redeemer. And the Bible tells us that he, <clears throat> that he died to save us from our sins. Therefore, we are redeemed. And Jesus is also infinite. The Bible says, I am the Alpha, the Omega, who is and was and is to come. Now, when you're older, you'll understand infinite a little bit better, you know, aside from to infinity and beyond. Okay, so inf infinite means that it's all the time, in the past, in the present, and forever in the future. And that's pretty awesome that we get to count on Jesus all the time. E is for enduring. And the Bible tells us, therefore, he is able to save completely. And um, basically, that means that he is all we will ever need to be able to have eternal life. The next letter is N, and that stands for needful. That means that we cannot do anything without Jesus. And trusting him as our Savior is our only way into heaven. So we need him to have eternal life. And our last letter down here is Defender. And God will send them a savior, a defender, and he will deliver them. So that's basically saying that God has sent us an awesome gift and he will save us from our sins. So there's all of those references. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about what it means to be a friend. The first characteristics of being a friend is to connect with other people. I know my girls received many letters, especially once, um, you know, all the schools closed and everything back in spring. And um, they were so excited to have those letters and that people hadn't forgotten about them. And it was just, it meant so much to them. And that's important also to do in our relationship with Jesus. You want to be purposeful about spending time with him. You know, take your time. Always, you know, really focus on what matters in your heart, um, what you're studying in Awana or Sunday school. And that's how you start to develop a relationship with Jesus. The second way of having a good friendship is to talk to each other. Kind of a no-brainer, right? I love talking to you guys, you know, what superhero powers you wish you had. Um, oh goodness, all the things, Pokemon, 
um, what your day at school was like. Um, I get this so often, what you had for lunch. Um, <laughs> all those fun things, new video games you got, and I love getting to talk with you guys because it's a way of connecting with you. So it's also important to talk to Jesus once again so you guys have a good friendship, right? What is the best way to talk to Jesus? That's by praying. Now, praying is always important. And I see, you know, some of you younger guys, it's just like, I don't know what to pray for. I don't know how to do this. Hey, it happens to everybody. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel stuff and you don't even know how to put it into words. And that's the great thing is God knows everything. He knows what's bothering you, what made you happy. So when you're encountering those things throughout your day, just be appreciative and kind of just, oh, thank you, Jesus. This is so awesome. Oh, I'm having such a great day. Just little things like that mean so much. So the third trait of being a good friend is listening. One of the things I love the most about helping you guys with Awana is all of the amazing Awana leaders we have. I love listening to all of their ideas. Um, they help me all the time with great ideas for you guys for lessons and activities. And um, they really, they, I love listening to them. And I know they have listened to me before when I'm struggling with something too, especially Miss Jen. And uh, <laughs> so it's also important in your relationship with Jesus that when you're done reading your Bible, if you really sit and think about what the Bible's telling you, no, the Bible's not talking to you, I get it, but really think about what the Bible is trying to teach you in the verses that you read. A lot of times there's extra meaning to the verses after you read them when you look at them for a longer amount of time and you really study them. And especially for my book three kiddos that'll be moving into TNT next year, that's really where you get to start studying your Bible verses aside from memorizing them. You'll love it. Um, so you really want to read the Bible, but also think about what it says and how it can be used in our lives. Now, the fourth one, the fourth trait of being a good friend is basically a combination of those three things. Um, you get to share life together with your friends and with Jesus, okay? The Bible tells us all the amazing characteristics of Jesus, and that's honestly all that we need to know about Jesus is right there in the Bible. But if you aren't developing your friendship with Jesus, then you're not the best friend that you can be, okay? Share the good things in your life, but you also share the bad things too. It's called a support system. So you don't wait until you have no other options to then go to the Bible. You should go to the Bible and ask for guidance in prayer, however, just so that you can feel that connection because Jesus wants you to include him in your life, not just by your activities and the ways you act because those are important too, but Jesus wants to be part of your life as you do life, which is really cool because then it's like you have this built-in buddy sitting there, you know, right next to you all the time. And it's, especially once you get older, you get to see how Jesus can really guide you through areas that you can be struggling with. I know these videos aren't exactly the most exciting and they're not the same as being in, in our clubs. Um, but I know you guys are working really hard on your verses, so keep up the good work. Let's go ahead and close this lesson in prayer. Go ahead and pray your hands, bow your head. Dear Lord, thank you for this time together, learning more about you. Um, Lord, I pray that my Awana friends feel your love surrounding them um, and that they take time growing their friendship with you 
In your name we pray. Amen. Now, um, so I guess this is it for our lesson today, and we'll see you next week for Backwards Night. Bye.